Welcome to YTJ Airlines. We're cruising at an altitude of approximately 700 millimeters above the ground. It's a balmy 12 or 13 degrees outside on this midwinter day. We hope you all enjoy the flight. There will be no in-flight beverages or uh, snacks since this is going to be a fairly short flight. We all hope you enjoy the uh, enjoy the ride, and uh, thank you for joining us on Y2J Airlines. As you see, as you can see, I got some new digs, got the new leather jacket, changed the uh, mounting place of the camera on the helmet. Hopefully, the audio sounds a little bit better as, better as well. I uh, yeah, um, made a little wee wind muff thing on the inside of the microphone on the inside there. And I'm currently uh, with the 360 camera this mount, and I've currently got the Xiaomi Mi Just Sphere. Now, i got to start off by saying to you, if you are going to buy a 360 camera, do not, do not buy the Xiaomi Mi Just Sphere. The Xiaomi Mi Just Sphere 360. Instead, I would say go for the GoPro Fusion. It is more expensive, yes. The GoPro Fusion is more expensive. But man, this Xiaomi Mi Just Sphere, I have had nothing but grief out of it. Let me tell you the story. I got the Xiaomi Mi Just Sphere probably six months ago, and that one bricked itself after two days. It worked okay for two days. I only made one or two videos with it, and then just randomly, strangely randomly, it just it did weird things before it bricked itself, and then it bricked itself. It wouldn't turn on anymore. So I, I emailed the guy, because I bought it off a seller on Trade Me. Now for you Americans, Trade Me is like eBay. So I emailed the guy, and I sent it back, because it's basically an online store. It's not a brick and mortar store. And uh, yeah, I kind of wish that I'd bought it from a brick and mortar store, but honestly, nobody, nobody is selling this camera here. So I bought the thing. It bricked itself. I sent it back. And I had a three-month wait before the, new, the next one came, and I was uh, I was almost afraid to use it because the first one had given me so many problems, and um, <laughs> so I finally used it, and I just used it like yesterday, and it didn't brick itself, but it started doing strange things again. You know, you turn it on, and it would. It's supposed to alternate between having your light for your photos and your light for your videos and it was displaying both and then it was giving out a random beeping noise every 15 odd seconds and of course and I had a look and other people have had the same problem as what I've had have a look in the uh, corner for the for that video it's not it's not an interesting video it's five minutes but it's just if you wanted to see the problem with that with that camera so other people have had the same issue that I've had so I updated the firmware, and now it seems to be working. It seems to be. I hope so. I'm looking at it now. I hope it's working. <laughs> I hope. Come on, Xiaomi. Anyway, I, I will never buy a Xiaomi product ever again after this debacle with this 360 camera. I'll use this one until it breaks, and then nah, I would not. I would not recommend this camera for anybody under any circumstance. Do not buy a Xiaomi Mi Just Sphere. So we're heading up into the hills today, and um, I'm just driving through Barrington right now. But also, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about what's coming up. We are going to go to Rotorua. Um, in about two weeks from now. It's going to be the first week of August. So the videos are going to start coming out. It's going to be a series of travel videos. They're all going to start coming out probably mid to late August. And I want to do them well. I want to do these videos really well. I'm going to take several cameras with me. I'm going to take my GoPro Fusion, take my Remove UK one, take my Canon, um, probably won't take the drone because there's not a lot of sort of suitable places that are you know you that you can fly a drone up there we'll see with that anyway 
But yeah, I've been feeling quite run into the ground recently because I haven't had a proper holiday for a while. Like we had a three-week holiday last year in um, in China, and that was amazing. We got some great videos out of that. I haven't really had a proper proper holiday. I had like another five days at the end of last year to make my um, super amazing Lupin videos, and then I basically said, I basically said at the start of the year, look, I'm having a bit of a break. And uh, I want to save up my money and my annual leave uh, to instead go to... Ugh, I can't get my visor up. <coughs> to instead go to uh, China, Heilongjiang province, Winter Ice Festival. There we go. Winter Ice Festival in uh, like January next year. I'm not sure if that's going to happen now, because when we go to Rotorua in two weeks from now, it's going to really take a couple of thousand dollars out of our savings for travel. But if we don't go to the, the ice festival, we probably still will go to China again, and it'll be like, I don't know, April, May next year? Something like that. So we will still go, but it may not be the Heilongjiang Ice Festival. But as I said, I've been feeling so run down, and we're heading up the hill now, this is uh, Hackthorn Road. I've been feeling so run down recently, just, uh, you know, the, I don't, I think it's a combination of not having a break, but also the weather, you know, it's been cold, it's, it is winter time here. So those two things combined just made me want to have a break. So, let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing up there. We are heading up to Waitomo Cave. So we're going to fly to Auckland, rent a car, and I'm going to drive my car up there. Fly up to Auckland, rent a car. Then go up to the Waitomo Glow... well, down to the Waitomo Glowworm Caves. Now these are some pretty awesome caves. Lots of glowworms in them. And then the second day we're going to be heading over to Lake Taupo and once you get to Lake, Lake Taupo that's when you're going to sort of get into your geothermal area. You know, that's where you start to see your uh, like hot pools and volcanic activities, thermal parks. So we're going to see some of those. There's Hooker Falls which is uh, quite a big impressive waterfall there at Lake Taupo. And um, next day is going to be up to Whakatane. And Whakatane is, um, well there's not a hell of a lot to do in Whakatane, you still got your thermal thermal parks and thermal pools and stuff up there, not as many, but Whakatane is, whoa, hello, Whakatane is your gateway to White Island, and White Island is um, like described as the world's most accessible volcano. So, you, it costs you about 250 bucks, you know, you pay to get on this boat, and it's basically just a sort of a guided walking tour. So you head over there onto White Island, and experience a volcano. Then for the next three days we're heading back to Rotorua, and we're going to be going to a combination of thermal parks and hot water pools. I'm really looking forward to this trip. Um, it's going to... Well, like, like I said, I want to do the videos really well. I want to do good videos with this one. So we'll see how we go with that. <coughs> I'll probably edit out about one video per week and just stretch them out a bit. Maybe we'll get more than six videos because it's a six day trip. Maybe we'll get more than six. I hope so. That's the little update. So we do have, finally, finally, more travel videos coming very soon. Thank you for watching. Enohora. <laughs> Thank you for riding Y2J Airlines. Wow, look at that. There's the sign of the target here, right there. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh